Hi, this is Bruce Rawls, and I have the distinct pleasure today of talking with Lillian Pais, who is the translator um, of the Portuguese edition of A Course in Miracles. And I got to know Lillian when I uh, lived in Colorado, um, Castle Rock actually, and occasionally would venture up to Denver and attend uh, meetings at the Rocky Mount Miracle Center uh, over a period of about four years. And I was always, always delighted to interact with Lillian as well as uh, a lot of other dedicated course students there and always enjoyed what Lillian had to share. And then about the same time I started working on the website for Foundation for Inner Peace and, and there was, uh, I've got a page in front of me, <laughs> realized that I was, work, you know, working with the, uh, the, the Portuguese translator, which was pretty exciting. So uh, Lillian has uh, quite the stories to, to share about uh, her experiences with the course. And um, anyway, I'm we're delighted to uh, have you on this uh, program, Lillian. Thank, thank you for so much for uh, for participating and sharing what you are about to share. <laughs> really appreciate oh, it. Oh, you're so kind, Bruce. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really happy to be here. Um, yes, especially at this moment, you know, I think it is um, uh, really important to remember what matters most in our lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, you know, no doubt, you know, it is um, the course and all that I have uh, learned and received through the course and um, uh, all the people involved with the course. Mm -hmm. So I understand that uh, the Brazilian translation was the, the, the second translation of A Course in Miracles out of, from English to another language, is that correct? Yes, I mean, uh, it was uh, almost, um, you know, at um, the same time, but it was the Spanish and the Portuguese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, um, you know, the first time I went to Roscoe to talk to Ken, and that was like uh, probably um, the end of 87, 88. Like um, it wasn't even open uh, to receive students, you know, oh, it, was, uh, it was the very, very beginning. Hmm. And um, uh, so I was there and uh, Jenny who was uh, the editor for the Spanish translation uh, was there also. Um, and um, so like, I, uh, you know, like, um, I had not, um, I had been working on this translation for three whole years, you know, and, um, um, you know, it, it just um, happened kind of, uh, you know, like one thing after another. Uh, first of all, I worked for almost um, two years um, without any kind of pay at all. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to study the course and, and translate the course. <laughs> my, my best friend would say, and so Lillian, when your money and, you know, finishes, what are you going to do? <laughs> And did you have an answer? <laughs> uh, I said, well, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And um, I didn't need to know because before that truly happened, it was close. Uh, I was um, hired by the Foundation for Inner Peace to re really do, you know, the translation because um, Judy Scott was a friend of um, uh, Gilda Grillo, uh, who was, um, you know, uh, they were friends in New York and, uh, you know, like um, when uh, Judy would have meetings and invite people, you know, to study, um, you know, Edgar Casey, and, uh, you know, at the time, everybody was very interested in all this. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, like um, um, for me, it was um, 
that that's all I wanted to do. And um, uh, you know, the first um, uh, time I heard, you know, evil. Hello, Bruce. Yes. Are you there? I'm. St I'm still here. Uh -huh. uh, you, your uh, image disappeared. Oh, okay. I'm still here. Can Can All you right. hear me? Okay. Okay. Yes, I can. Okay. So, uh, anyway, uh, I had quite uh, for the first time in my life, I had kind of a mystical, really intense experience. The first time that I heard, you know, uh, evil doesn't exist. And um, uh, and Gil de Grillo, who was a Jewish friend, saw all that. And um, she said, um, I think you're the one that's supposed to translate the Course in Miracles. And um, there were already some uh, kind of, uh, you know, illegal translations going on here and there and everywhere. But um, um, I, I started it and I spent, uh, spent three years doing it, mm -hmm. really doing it well, you know, and communicating with Ken and, uh, you know, really um, studying it. Uh huh. Studying it. To, to just to back up for a moment, for people who may not be as familiar with the uh, Course in Miracles, uh, you, Ken is the uh, uh, Kenneth Wapnick, Dr. Kenneth Wapnick, who was uh, um, the the preeminent teacher of a Course in Miracles for many decades, uh, uh, with the Foundation for a Course in Miracles, it was in Roscoe, New York, which you were referring to, and then uh, they moved to Temecula. California, were there for a number of years, and just recently, after Ken's passing, uh, a couple of years ago, moved back, moved to uh, Henderson, Nevada, and uh, and then Judy Sketch Whitson was the publisher of of um, uh, the, the the founder of a um, foundation for inner peace that publishes a course in miracles, and it's in now in over 27, 27 languages and counting, <laughs> and uh, Spanish and Portuguese were the first two, and and uh, Lillian was the uh, the translator of Portuguese, so. So anyway. Yes, thank you so much for sure. uh, explaining all that. I should have done it. But, oh, that's uh, okay. That's okay. Well, I'm just trying to fill, right. fill some gaps. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. There, okay. There's probably some people who are who are new to the course that may not be familiar. I figured. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, um, you know, I um, I started um, doing the translation and. Um, it was um, like it lasted 10 years <laughs> um, because like I said, after the first three years, I went to, to uh, Roscoe to have my first um, interview with um, Ken Wapnick, um, my, you know, dearest friend on earth. And um, so, um in a like a short time because uh you know he would um, always be very funny you know and uh, um this was the first time that we were working together later on he he had some really great jokes but uh, this first time was very serious and i was supposed to uh read to him in English verbatim everything that I had written in Portuguese because he didn't know Portuguese. Mm -hmm. So I had to, you know, I, I looked at my translation and uh, told him in English what was there in the book at that passage. And um, um, you know, for the most part, it was, um, it was okay, but, um, you know, not, uh, not really, because, um, you know, I had a, a graduate degree in translation and interpretation and all that. I, I thought, I, you know, I thought I 
knew how to do this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so I made something that seemed, um, you know, more appropriate and more beautiful. Like, for instance, um, thoughts increase as they are shared. Remember that quote from the Course? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, like, um, uh, but usually you wouldn't say thoughts increase. You would say, you know, maybe thoughts expand or, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had done some little changes like that, you know, so that it would sound better and be more appropriate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I soon understood that I couldn't do that, you know. It was like a, kind of a, a similar uh, experience that, uh, you know, that um, Helen had, you know, when she would change one word uh, in a page. And then, you know, like 50 pages later, she found that word and she realized that she could not have changed it. And... Um, since you know nobody really knew there was no methodology to do this course mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, because it was different from uh, every other book um, you know like after that you know uh, stay with Ken that was like uh, you know probably more than two months I um, I spent almost two years with uh, a magnifying glass, looking at the roots of all the words in English to wow. find the precise roots in Portuguese so that it would be exactly the same word. Wow, that's dedication. <laughs> you know, like, um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I went uh, to visit Ken many times and uh, he, he would say, um, he would, as he would see me, you know, getting there, he would start running and I would start running after him. <laughs> and, um, you know, then he would stop and give me a big hug and, you know, say, are you still determined to do this? <laughs> do you think how many people are going to be interested in reading this book in Portuguese in Brazil? <laughs> Well, so, did, didn't you tell me before we started the recording there was, I, I jotted it down, there was, uh, uh, well, maybe I didn't jot it. I think you said there was, what, uh, 6,000 6, uh, in the first printing? Is that what, is that right? And then uh, the, the same number? The first printing, it was uh, um, uh, six, 6,500. 6,500, okay, yeah. The second printed, printing was um, about the same. Uh -huh. um, and um, there were, you know, two more printers that, uh, um, I mean, you know, the last one, I, I, I don't know because I'm not, uh, like, involved with it um, anymore. Uh -huh. But uh, uh -huh. uh, we have, we, we did two editions. And um, thank God, you know, Ken was, was alive and uh, he helped with the two editions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that was a great thing. That was, um, you know, um, really wonderful. And, um, um, you know, like what happened was that um, um, in one of these days in Roscoe, it was during the Iran-Iraq war, long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there wasn't anybody there. It was winter, it was very cold. Um, and, you know, I am from Rio, right? <laughs> I, I, I am uh, from the beach. So um, it was um, like unbelievable how um, I, um, you know, I was able to, um, you know, like, um, to be alone in a huge, huge building. And, uh, you know, I would cross these long, long, long um, 
you know, uh, evergreen trees. Um, and, um, you know, I remember like getting into my room and um, looking uh, in the mirror and uh, really not knowing very well who I was. Anyway, um, it was um, intense. It was really, really intense because, you know, you know it's what he says um, here that um, I love. I'm going to read it to you. Uh, it is uh, chapter 18, um, um, The Happy Dream, so session five. And then paragraph seven on page 384. And uh, it says, I desire this holy instant for myself that I may share it with my brothers whom I love. It is not possible that I can have it without him or he without me. Yet, it is wholly possible for us to share it now. And so I choose this instant as the one to offer to the Holy Spirit that his blessing may descend on us and keep us both in peace. It's beautiful. And uh, what I meant to say, just to, you know, uh, to finish the, this um, thought was that, um, you know, we have to get to a point where we do offer it to the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that his blessing may descend on us. Because before that happens, um, we are always interpreting what we think the Holy Spirit told us, what we imagine or what we uh, sometimes, um, it's not easy to really know uh, what is it that, um, you know, the Holy Spirit or, you know, um, your right mind um, is telling you in any specific moment, many times it's not easy. So we have to trust and give it to him. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think yeah. it was like the, 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 the noise on the radio. And I, I oftentimes find it helpful to think of the, the, uh, the technology that's in the GPS that we use for on our cell phones and our, in our cars to, to navigate. And, uh, Interestingly enough, the, the, the signal that we're looking for to lock onto is kind of like that guidance. And, and uh, it's, it's actually much, much quieter than the noise that's in the background. And uh, so like you say, it's, it's, it, it's, it's a challenge for us, I think, init especially initially, to, to, to find and lock onto that, that signal, that voice within us that, that um, is, is really the Holy Spirit's counsel, isn't it? It takes a lot yeah. of practice, a lot of practice, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so glad that I found myself again, because I have I, I spent all this time talking without seeing. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That that is very 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 true. And what is, um, you know, even more important, in my opinion, is that, like, um, you know, like, it's, it's a must that, um, you know, we do not, you know, like, um, interject our evaluations or our, you know, like, um, um, ideas, for instance, you know, the translation of the word atonement, mm -hmm. right? Uh, atonement was a word that we had like, um, 
you know, many, many discussions about it because I was raised Catholic, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, at the time, you know, um, in, the, in the beginning, like uh, people didn't really know for sure what the Course was saying. People were thinking that atonement was at one man. You know, one man, right? Mm -hmm. And um, John uh, um, Ken would c come to me and say, "Well, um, you know, um, it's about um, expiation. It's about uh, paying for your sins." I said, "Uh oh, no, <laughs> no, not going to do this." You're I'm doing, not, doing that, huh? I'm not going to do this. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, you know, like uh, I've suffered for 30 some years uh, and uh, I am not going to write expiation. I'm not. <laughs> not without a lot of footnotes at least, right? <laughs> well, so he said, okay, all right, okay, you don't. He knew it would be quite a few years, so <laughs> you know, like um, long story short, you know, at the end, it did come out as expiation, and um, you know, and it had to be so, and it is clear that it had to be so, and. Um, Luckily, you know, we are uh, blessed with, um, you know, like um, people like, you know, like Ken, like Juji, like, uh, you know, um, so many uh, wonderful teachers that we have um, that, you know, like do not, um, you know, enforce any kind of specific, um, you know, explanation, mm -hmm. right? I think that is a blessing in, in many ways. Yeah. I think that is really, really a blessing. Um, yeah. Because we do have to get to the point that is again uh, described here on uh, chapter 18. Um, session five, um, the happy dream. It's uh, at the end of the uh, first paragraph. Um, I'm going to um, start at phrase three uh, of the section five, page 382. The holy instant, the holy relationship, the Holy Spirit's teaching, and all the means by which salvation is accomplished would have no purpose if we already what he said before is if we already understood the difference between truth and illusion mm -hmm. for they are all but aspects of the plan to change your dreams of fear to happy dreams so the holy instant the holy relationship the holy spirit's teaching uh, are aspects of the plan to change your dreams of fear to happy dreams from which you waken easily to knowledge. Put yourself not in charge of this, for you cannot distinguish between advance and retreat. 
some of your greatest advances you have judged as failures. In some of your deepest retreats, you have evaluated as success. We're all pretty clueless as egos, huh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. As you were sharing that, uh, Levin, I was thinking how you know we we guess you know, we try to try to figure it out on our own. And uh, I, I I seem like Ken said something about you know if we if we already were were uh, at that point where we knew it, we wouldn't need the course. You know why why would you keep studying the book if you if you were all, if it at peace all the time, but obviously, you know, we can deny a lot and the, and the course is about denying the denial and, and it seems like that really addresses that squarely on, doesn't it? That we, we need to look at our denial and, and, that, and hence the, the need for the word expiation rather than, than something else, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, like, um, um, it is very important, uh, to remember this because, um, you know, it did help me, you know, like, uh, it saved me. I say, you know, it saved my life in many, many occasions because like, um, you know, when you are really, you know, like, uh, feeling guilty and, um, you know, not finding a way to, uh, to really hear the Holy Spirit at least not at that moment, for you to remember that, you know, maybe what you are, you know, um, blaming yourself for is really a big success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the opposite, you know, and the opposite. Mm -hmm. Like, um, uh, as I told you, um, I don't, I don't think I said that, um, uh, since we started talking, maybe I told you that uh, a while ago, but, um, what I mean to say is that, um, you know, when, uh, when Lillian thought that the work of the course was beautiful, um, it was, um, uh, not um right you know it wasn't uh you know the right mind there and um why because i was adapting things because i was trying to making things make words go together in a beautiful way so that it would um you know like uh resemble you know my beloved poems you know like uh um my god you know um david white uh, um woodworth and um you know uh i loved poetry and i studied poetry and i i wrote and i I have always written since I was little, mm -hmm. but uh, when I thought it was beautiful, it was not right. Mm -hmm. And when uh, it had to be published, um, you know, all of a sudden there was a big, uh, you know, like uh, the foundation said, it has to be published, it has to be published now because uh, people were, uh, printing it and, and uh, distributing it in Brazil, you know, translations that were not legal. Mm -hmm. So they had to, 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 to do that. And um, so it was like, um, you know, like in a, a moment to another, like maybe uh, if there were two months, it was um, a, a lot. And, uh, you know, I released everything and um, <laughs> um, guess what happened? You know, like uh, when you do things like that, um, you know, the, the wonderful couple that were doing the, the covers of the books, you know, they had just done the Spanish 
they had just done the Spanish. And so the word exercises was written with an X because that is the Spanish spelling of it. Mm -hmm. So guess what? <laughs> the cover of the Portuguese edition after 10 years had a mistake in gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, my. In gold, in gold, in gold, <laughs> in gold. And, um, <laughs> you know, like uh, my brother, like, just killed me. <laughs> you, did you have your 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 punctuation and grammar flak jacket on to to deflect the bullets the uh, virtual well bullets? um <laughs> that they know that they know because i had you know like done everything it was my father's birthday okay and uh, i really wanted to give it to him because you know it was the most uh, important thing i had done i can imagine you know? i can imagine yeah and my father was um you know quite um, you know the literary man so, so anyway. did you, would you put tape over the cover so he didn't see this the misspelling no 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 no, no, <laughs> I, I'm, no I'm joking no. But that, that's, what would, that's probably what i would have thought of doing i don't know <laughs> no no what happened i'm going to finish this story quickly okay okay uh, what happened was that uh I had asked, you know, Judy, please, because the book had just come out. It came from, uh, uh, you know, the printing, uh, you know, establishment. Right, right. And so, like, Judy hadn't seen the mistake. Judy hadn't seen it. And nobody had seen it. Mm -hmm. And I gave it to my father. And uh, two seconds after that, you know, um, my brother said, well. <laughs> so that's one of those moments, you know, maybe this big failure might be a big success. Who knows? <laughs> What uh, happened was that um, Juji saw it, you know, and I was in tears, my dear. I was in tears. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. no matter how much I called the Holy Spirit, you know, the deception after 10 years of really, like, uh, losing my skin to do that, <laughs> you know, like, uh, for you to have, if it were a little bit, but it was the cover and it was in gold. And so. <laughs> you, know, you know what that reminds me of? This is, this will be a quick aside. Um, years ago, my wife, Nancy and I went to Egypt and we went on a Felucca boat ride on the Nile as part of the tour we were on. And there was printed and, and English is obviously a second language there. Right. So yeah. in, in, on the back of this little Felucca boat, was a hand painted sign that says keep a smile on you face hair on you head and two or three of the words were misspelled but we thought you know that's a great sentiment you know keep keep the smile don't pull your hair out it's everything's going to be fine <laughs> and, <laughs> and 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 I've, I've remembered that because it, it was kind of a reminder to not be obsessed with the form but remember that the content is the important thing so anyway yeah, in, no in case, doubt. In case that's helpful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure that uh, was a challenging moment for you, though, just you know, in horror to discover that you know. You know, I, like uh, yeah. this was like anyway. There is no justification for it anyway. Right, right, right. There is no justification of it any for it anyway. Mm. But um, I think it is important, you know, to uh, share, um, you know, some of the you know, amazing exercises of, uh, you know, surrender and trust that you have mm -hmm. to go through if you are going to learn, uh, you know, this course. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened was that Juji made a cover 
that was really beautiful, wonderful paper with the right, you know, um, you know, the right um, uh, spelling for the word. Mm -hmm. And then um, he, she said, she, she made, we, we did it together, a little card that we put inside each book asking, you know, for, um, you know, uh, understanding and, uh, you know, explaining and also saying, maybe uh, later on, this will be a very, very valuable collector's uh, copy. Of <laughs> there you go. Take, <laughs> take, take lemons and make lemonade, as the old cliche goes, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and I, I imagine they are collector's items now, right? Well, oh, my dear. <laughs> Oh, my dear, who knows, you know? Who knows, who knows, who knows? Um, well, anyway, the, the content, as we know, at least on some level, we all know that the content is what's important. And, uh, and we're all learning to uh, not be blinded by the perception of form, right? Yes. Slowly but absolutely. surely. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> and also, you know, like, uh, as you said, you know, um, you know, denying the denial, you know, like um, many times we think, well, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, this was, you know, uh, terrible well maybe it is not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know maybe it is not but until you really look and you feel um you don't get there mm -hmm. i think you know i think that you have to to live it in in all levels you know if it's just in the intellectual level um, it doesn't uh, last very long. No. No. Yeah. I, another one of Ken's comment that really stuck with me is, you know, I think he was actually quoting someone else, but it was something like the, the journey from the head to the heart is the longest journey, which is to me, it's like, okay, once you get the theory of the, the non-dual metaphysics of the course far enough along in, in your understanding, then the real work begins, which is applying it and, and you know, being truly kind, and and uh, you know, seeing everyone's interest as your own, and uh, and really trusting the Holy Spirit, you know, un unconditionally, and that that's tends to be a pretty long process for <laughs> for most of us, <laughs> probably with very few exceptions. Huh? No. Yes, it does. Um, it does feel like that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's it's, yes. it's it's really the only worthwhile journey, though. I mean, what, it what, is. What it else is would we, only... what else would we would we be doing with these lives anyway, right? <laughs> well, um, oh, it's so wonderful, you know. It's so wonderful to uh, to remember, you know, that God did not create this. Mm -hmm. You know, I love when I hear that. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not His creation we are his creation mm -hmm. we are his creation in our right minds like uh, you know we are doing now this um, wonderful uh, revision you know I am not a body I am free for I'm still as God created me and uh, I love because it doesn't say, you know, I am spirit. It says, I am free. I am not the body. I am free. You know, um, especially, you know, in this moment now, you know, if we uh, remember this um, a few times when we are looking at... Uh, numbers going up and uh, you know for me it has been like uh, three stages of uh, 
insanity, you know. My, I have uh, two sisters and uh, nieces and, and uh, like eight members of my family in Italy, in Northern Italy, in Milano, uh -huh. where, you know, it was really uh, heavy. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, my uh, brother, my two brothers in Rio, in Brazil, that until uh, a short time ago, it was like uh, even ahead of us. Now we are ahead of them. Mm -hmm. So like uh, for a long time, you know, um, I have... Um, remembered you know um i am free mm -hmm. for I people am. that might be watch watching this recording who knows how long and from now in the future uh, we're referring to the spread of the the uh, global pandemic the covid 19 virus uh we're recording this uh, uh july 26 2020 and it's been a little over four months since this has been transformed the world and and uh, and so you're referring to the numbers of of cases of uh the virus right yeah. yes exactly mm -hmm. and uh you know like um how interesting that um you know like um the three locations where um it was um very 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 serious my family was <laughs> you know and uh, i am not laughing you know um i am just um i'm just trusting i'm just uh, believing that um we are free we are free um we are almost at um, and but i really would like to uh to read that um you know last um, paragraph of um chapter 27 it is a uh, section seven and it's page 585. And um, like for a long time, a long time, you know, I, um, I had very, very constant, uh, uh, you know, communication with, with Ken and uh, for months, he would like almost every day say, you know, um, put the beginning of this paragraph. And um, I realized that um, really it's such, you know, like a, a perfect description of the practice of forgiveness. So, um, and it's a, it's a small uh, uh, paragraph. It's the last paragraph, paragraph 15 on page 585. Doing this now, really feeling and knowing that can is here with us in our right minds dream softly of your sinless brother who unites with you in holy innocence and from this dream the lord of heaven will himself awaken his beloved son. Dream of your brother's kindness instead of dwelling in your dreams on his mistakes. Select his thoughtfulness to dream about instead of counting up the hurts he gave. Forgive him his illusions 
and give thanks to him for all the helpfulness he gave. And do not brush aside his many gifts because he is not perfect in your dreams. He represents his father whom you see as offering you both life and death. Brother, he gives but life. Yet, what you see as gifts your brother offers represent the gifts you dream your father gives to you. Let all your brother's gifts be seen in light of charity and kindnesses offered you. And let no pain disturb it. Disturb your dream of deep appreciation for his gifts to you. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I couldn't help but, but smile thinking about the, um, instead of dwelling on the mistakes, I was thinking in, in your specific example with the book cover, you could, you could X out the grievance about the, the letter X, right? Yes. <laughs> 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 yes, and, I and, mean, uh, and instead focus on all the letters that were correct. <laughs> absolutely, no, and um, you know, yeah. like uh, this is such 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 a long story, you know. Like uh, anyway, um, in the midst of uh, you know, I was almost done selling the the second edition. Brazilian money was devalued, mm -hmm. and from one day to another. I couldn't pay the foundation mm -hmm. and I, and uh, it was uh, for years, it was really quite, you know, the learning of this, you know, mm -hmm. the learning to really look at his kindnesses, mm -hmm. look at what I have received. And um, even if I cannot see it, I want to see it. Mm -hmm. Or I think I want to see it. You know, I might not want to see it because if I did, I would have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and there's where we can all learn and help each other remember to uh, forgive ourselves for the resistance when we see it. And, and uh, I, I like how... Ken Wapnick says, you know, just, just noticing the resistance can be helpful information. And, uh, yes. And, and to, to see how much we fight against the course. And I know a lot of things you've shared, both uh, in the, the events I attended at Rocky Mountain Miracle Center when I was in Colorado, and, and then more recently over the last four months in the Zoom uh, sessions that we've attended together, how much I appreciate, uh, you know, the helpfulness of, of noticing how much we fight against the course, because that yeah. really is an important part of it, isn't it? Just, just to, to, and to forgive ourselves when we, when we, you know, allow ourselves to see that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. That is what really is our uh, practice of mm -hmm. forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You know, it says in the introduction, you know, it does not aim uh, at, uh, you know, explaining the meaning of love. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about, um, you know, looking and uh, seeing all the obstacles we have, uh, you know, built so that we don't see, you don't have the awareness of our true inheritance that is love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> well said. Oh, boy. Anything oh, else you want to share? Anything else you want to share? Um, you've covered well, a lot already. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you you were complete. Are there other anecdotes about Ken and Roscoe or, or uh, anything else that comes to mind? 
um, yes, but they are stories, you know, like um, we are almost on time now. We can uh, maybe uh, go back to that um, maybe in another moment. Oh, certainly, certainly, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Because um, you know, like um, it's um, it's amazing how uh, everything, everything is really uh, for the practice of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. If we really look. It is mm -hmm. right. Exactly. You agree? Exactly. Oh, completely. <laughs> 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 completely. Oh, thank you so much, Ruth. I oh, mean, thank uh, you, Lillian. I have no, you know, like um, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for, you know, your kindness for the foundation, for um, you know for having this holy instant now, surrendering it all to him in gratitude. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you again, Lillian. And um, I'm looking forward already to our next conversation, whenever that might be. So anyway, th thanks again for sharing this time. And uh, um, we'll talk again. Yes, we will. We will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.